Howdy ho, my peeps. Okay, I'm bringing you another three ingredient Dollar Tree meal. We're going to do the pompa long grain rice with some chunk pineapple and shrimp egg roll. These egg rolls come in shrimp, lobster, or chicken, and you can use any one, but I've chosen shrimp. So we for start tonight. with a cup of the uh, rice in two cups of boiling water, then you turn it down to simmer and you make your rice just like you always do. I salted this water pretty well, so. Now, inside of the um, egg roll packet, you will also find some sweet and sour sauce that's going to come in handy. Um, because I'm feeding more than one person, I've opened up two other packages of the egg roll. So that will feed probably this is going to end up feeding three or four people pretty well. I've already opened up and drained my can of um, of pineapple. I've reserved the juice over there. If for no other reason than Grant will drink it. So anyhow, when my rice is done, I will show you how to okay, assemble so my this rice dip. is done. And I'm going to take my drained pineapple. And I'm going to dump that can in there. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of mix that up, incorporate that a little bit, like so. All right, so I'm going to cover that and set it aside. Now back here I have some water steaming. What I'm going to do, and there's just a little bit of bacon grease down in there. Um, you could use, again, coconut oil, pretty much anything you want. I'd made bacon earlier today, so I just wiped out the pan and left some coconut oil, uh, left some bacon grease. Now, you can see that I've cut up these three um, egg rolls, shrimp egg rolls. And now what I'm going to do is just pop them down into the... Uh, frying pan like so to kind of steam them and warm them up a little so let me finish that and we'll come back okay so I've got those chunks of egg roll steaming now I'm going to take my little sweet and sour packet and I'm just going to hit the top of these egg rolls with with the sweet and sour packets like so I'm only going to use two of them I think three would be too much. Now I'm going to cover this for just a few minutes and let it steam. All right, so the egg rolls have been steaming up for about four minutes or so, and they are warmed all the way through. I'm going to now take them off the fire. Move them over here, and we're going to top this with the rice, like so. I left my tripod at my mom's, so I'm still working one-handed, but that's okay. So you just top it all with the rice and pineapple combo. Now this would, let's see, this would easily, easily feed four people. Um, if you're just feeding yourself or yourself and someone else, you could get away with just one of the egg rolls and maybe half as much rice. Cook up a half a cup of rice instead of an entire cup. So now what I'm going to do is just I'm gonna get I'm gonna cover this I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes or so so the flavors can meld and then we're gonna have Grant give it a try okay, and now we're gonna serve this stuff up on a bed of greens incidentally uh, my husband gets his Earthbound Farms organic uh, spring mix big old tub of it from Costco so I like to keep this in the refrigerator because I love to serve if I'm making something super carby like this I like to serve it on a bed of greens so Let's just, 
let's just give this a little try here. So I might as well get myself in the right spot of the camera. There's that. Yeah, you know, when you serve this on greens, you're feeding uh, six people, probably. I mean, this, this is just a lot of food right here. So I'm going to take that to Grant. I am going to serve myself some as well. So. And I'm not getting too picky about having it all come out looking pretty. I just want it to I just want it to get on top of the greens. Okay, here we go. I like my little fork. I like to use a salad fork, and Grant likes to use the big dinner forks. So, here we go. So let's see. Let's see what this is going to be like. Darling, yeah. I'm coming at you with a plate of food. So have a seed. Looks wonderful. It does. I, I reserve the juice of the pineapple for you to drink. Oh, thank you. Do you want me to, yeah, want me to throw some alcohol in there with it? No, that's good. That's okay. <laughs> okay. No. Give, her, give her a try there. It shouldn't be too terribly hot. Good. Good? Very good. Okay. All right. All right. So... Grant said good, very good. Okay, he would probably say good, very good about just about anything I made. Oh, you guys got a really, really good look at my filthy house, didn't you? I'm not worried about it. If I'm not home, sleeping or cooking, I'm at the hospital with my mother, so screw the damn messy house. I can fix that later. All right. I'm turning this around so you can see me. Okay. Um, now I'm going to give this little thing a try. Try to get a little bit of all of it all at once. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just, it's, you know, these, these three ingredient, um, Dollar Tree dinners are all ending up being comfort food because I usually start with a carb base. I add some sort of in, um, thing, a can or a bag or a box of something that's got, you know, it's seasoned in some way or another, like these egg rolls. And then I add something else to spice it, like in this uh, case I added the pineapple. So... You know, you do that and it, it equals comfort food. It really does. And I love serving it on the greens because I kind of feel like I'm doing something good for myself too. So anyway, there you go. Um, what are we going to call this? I don't know what to call it. Chinese, Chinese something. Chinese pineapple rice. That's incredibly boring, but it does describe it real well. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.